Hey everybody, thanks for joining me today. Today I'm going to do an experiment. I want to do some things to see if you can change the plasticity of clay. I've got some clay that is short. In other words, it just, when you bend it, it cracks. It doesn't hold its form. Uh, but plastic clay is plastic. It is movable. And once you bend it, it doesn't crack. It doesn't break apart. It doesn't tear. And so I've got some clay that isn't very good. And so I'm going to do an experiment and mix four different things with this clay to see if any of them really make a difference. So the control group is just water. I'm just going to mix clay with water. I have a pretty good idea what's going to happen with that. I'm also going to take some clay and mix it with vinegar. Uh, that has been suggested that that can help. Uh, another option is cactus juice. This is aloe vera juice. Uh, and see if that will make a difference. Actually, Tony Soros did a video about adding aloe vera juice. And he talked a little bit about plasticity, but mostly he said he thought it changed uh, the way the clay actually vitrified when it was fired in a good way. Uh, and then the fourth thing, this is some um, rice water. So I took rice, ground it up, uh, added water, and then poured off all that water. So it's real starchy water. That has been suggested in one video I saw that that will help with plasticity as well. So I'm going to try all four of these things, see if any of it makes any difference or not. So please stay with me. We'll get this going. Here's the clay, just ordinary brown clay. I dug it in Arizona. I've mixed 20% uh, uh, sand with this as temper. So we're starting off with the same material uh, for all of the different options here. Divide it into four different pieces and then mix the liquids with each one of these. Well, I've got my four samples all mixed up, and the plan is just to let these sit overnight or maybe for a couple of days. It's pretty clear that when you mix up clay, if it sits for a bit, a few days, uh, it will improve its plasticity. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do with the samples, and then I'll come back and we'll test it all out and see if any of it makes a difference. Well, here are our samples, water, rice, vinegar, and aloe vera. These have been sitting for two days. So that should be plenty of time for each one of them to fully hydrate. And so let's take each one out, turn it into a coil, and see if we can see uh, just how plastic it is. Here's the water one. See, it breaks pretty easily, doesn't it? And here's the next one. So it breaks, but it seems like it is uh, somewhat more plastic. Next one. Maybe about the same as number two, but obviously not very plastic. And this is the aloe vera. So none of them are great. Uh, seems like it helped a little bit. All right, let's uh, try this one other way. This is clay, a little coil of clay that is mixed just with water. I'm just going to bend it this way and see how well we can do. Now, you may not be able to see it, but cracks are developing right there. Very noticeable cracks. Okay, so that's water. So here is the rice one, made with rice water. I'm watching it here. So I'm starting to see 
crack a little bit. But it does not, it cracks some, uh, but less, I think, than the water one. Next one, this is uh, vinegar. Okay, look at that. So now that, uh, the ends are touching and it did not crack at all. So uh, that would tell me that the vinegar does make some difference with what plasticity. And then the final one is with the aloe vera. So it cracked right away over here, if you can see that. It cracked again here. So that cracked at least as much as, uh, as the water one. So what this tells me is the only one that uh, seemed to be more plastic was the vinegar. Not great, but uh, not too bad. None of the other ones will let you bend it this much. So that's vinegar. Here's the water one. Breaks right away. Now some of it could have to do with the amount of moisture in the clay. Um, this is... Um, I guess the aloe vera one, or rice one, I'm sorry. So that breaks too. All right. Well, do additives make a difference in terms of the plasticity of clay? And my experience uh, experiments today would suggest that maybe vinegar does make some difference. It does look like it's somewhat more plastic, but when I made the little bowl with the vinegar clay, I couldn't really tell that it made much difference there. Now, if you tried to make a big bowl or a big pot with uh, clay that's very short, not very plastic, I think you're going to struggle the whole time. Probably the best solution here is to find a good clay that's plastic all by itself and not have to worry about all these additions. But I have used vinegar in repairing pots. It does seem to make clay more sticky and bind to itself. Uh, so it does seem to be useful for that, at least. Uh, the aloe vera actually seemed to be pretty good for working and making the little bowl. Now, if you look at the label on aloe vera juice, it has some citric acid added to it. So it must be somewhat acid. As a side note, this aloe vera juice is for digestive health. Uh, and I tried it uh, to drink it. And quite frankly, there's lots of other things that taste way better to me, at least, than aloe vera juice, but uh, give it a shot. My stuff is going to end up going down the drain, I'm afraid. If you have had experience, you have some knowledge, some things you'd like to share, please put them down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, it's a good way of just expanding our knowledge for this primitive pottery community. Your likes do make a difference. It kind of helps with the algorithms, the subscriptions, that makes a difference. Sharing it with people, that all makes a difference. And until next time, seriously, I wish you health, happiness, peace, and love. Take care. Bye-bye.